show now. Our buddy and former Denver Titans uh, coach, Phil Esposito, joining the show. Hey, Phil. Hey, Phil. Hi, guys. Good morning. How are you? Good. We are good. We are good. So tell us uh, what you, you and the team have parted ways. Tell us about it. Well, I, it's just it's a positive thing. It's it's a it's a good thing for Danbury. It's a good thing for me. I've been there for six uh, for six and a half years, six years. It's going on to seven. Uh, you know, I was going to be starting my seventh year here, and, and been in Danbury the whole time. And you know, my uh, the way I've been with you guys and stuff, and, and the fans and stuff. Danbury is a great place to be. Great place for hockey. Um, it, it'll thrive. You know, Danbury hockey is still going to thrive there. Bruce did an unbelievable job last year with with what he did with taking over. You know, the, the two teams in Brewster. Uh, and in Danbury, but it's just one of those things where after being in one spot for so long, I just, uh, you know, we, we, we sat down, we talked, and it was one of those things where, you know, uh, I, I just, we, you know, we decided that it was probably best for me to, you know, uh, further my career, and I had some opportunities uh, last year when the whole, uh, you know, Danbury thing was falling apart, and then Bruce came in and took over, and I right. I talked to Bruce, and I, you know, last year, and I told him that I would stay on and help him, you know, uh, get get it to a place where, you know, it, it, it would be able to run, you know, for the first year. And Bruce learned a lot this year, obviously, being a new owner. And, um, you know, it's a positive thing. I mean, Danbury Hockey will thrive. Bruce, Bruce will make it better there in Danbury. And, and um, like I said, my goal the whole time with starting this was to get to the next level and coach to the next level. And I have some opportunities that I'm going to pursue now and, and then make a decision here in the next couple of weeks. And I just decided it was time for me to, to move on. And, uh, you know, and Danbury Hockey will be fine. What what is the next level? You know, because you can you're speaking to somebody that doesn't know what the next level is, right? You know, so what's the next level up in minor league hockey? Well, the next level up in, in our in our uh, in our uh, uh, ladder here is the, is the East Coast Hockey League. It's probably a, a, ours is a single A, so then East Coast would be double A, and then the American Hockey League would be the triple A, which would be like the Bridgeport Sound Tigers team. But um, my goal is to get you know get my foot in the door. I'm I'm up for you know uh, one or two head coaching jobs still. Um, that I had interviews and stuff for, and uh, in, in in one in the East Coast League and one in the Southern Pro League, and the Southern Pro League is kind of the same league as ours, but it's just uh, all the teams are down south, and uh, they've been they've been around a little bit more established league. They got more teams down there, and and, uh, and they do a little bit more traveling and stuff. So and they had a little bit bigger budgets. So it's a it's a it's a little bit of a step up if I went there. But the East Coast League is where I want to go, and and then I had some. Uh, Opportunities in the in the East Coast League and uh, and possibly the American Hockey League as an assistant coach. So, in order for me to get my foot in the door, I just gotta you know I decided it was time for me to take that step and, and do it now. And, and uh, I just you know we, we we decided to do it and give give Bruce enough time to get somebody else. Which um, you know I know that yesterday they announced Dave was going to be the coach and Dave's a good guy. Dave was my captain. I, you know Dave will do a good job there in Danbury. And this I is Dave Lund. Dave Lund, right? Going on. Yes, sir. Dave yeah, won. and he was the coach of the of the Bulldogs last right. year. Yep, Dave was the captain of mine. Dave's been around Danbury for a few years. He's a great guy. You know, I think he'll be a good leader there too. So, you know, like I said, Danbury hockey will be fine. Now, I'm just, what I'm just sad about is is our time together. You know, oh, now we're we not going to have yeah, our we weekly go. chats. We're not going to hang yeah, out. Yeah, we're like a bad marriage, you and me, Lou. <laughs> we're not going to be able to. We're not going to make plans that we're never going to follow through on. <laughs> that you're never going to follow through. <laughs> Listen, let's just clarify the fact that we made plans. I was all ready to go. Yep. You got all kinds of stuff going on. <laughs> well, that, that's to say the least. I got all kinds of stuff going on. We won't be able to see you come in here. And have Pam climb you like a jungle gym, yeah. like a human jungle gym. <laughs> well, that can still happen. I got no problem with driving up there and seeing yeah, Pam. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, we we wanted to talk to you and just. Uh, you know, hear straight from you what was going on, and uh, we wish you all the best. And you're always welcome to come in and hang out with us and uh, stay in touch. Okay. I definitely will, guys. Thank you very much. And then, like I said, I, I, the fans of Danbury and the people in Danbury and Bruce. And everybody's been great, and I just, uh, you know, it was a real, real good experience for me uh, the past year with, with the Titans and stuff, and, and even, you know, with, with all the stuff that went on with the Whalers, too, before, I mean, it, the the the, uh, the whole aspect of being in Danbury was great with the fans and everybody around there, and the staff in Danbury was unbelievable. So, uh, just thank you guys very much, and I will keep in touch, and I'll let you guys know where, where I'm headed. Absolutely, Phil. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. I, I, I miss you already. I, I miss you already. See <laughs> yeah. Former Danbury Titans head coach Phil Esposito. There you go. So we got our answer. Uh